Hi Taurus, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for January. You really like how slow this person is um, to come to a conclusion. You really see that they weigh the pros and cons of a situation. So you won't see this person getting involved in risky situations or financial investments. They're quite stable and they're very intelligent with the way they handle their finances. I'm getting normally this person's quite reserved or held back, but when it comes to you, they'll be very generous, especially financially. Another chance, but that will be for a few of you. You'll be very proud of this person and how they've um, dealt with these obstacles and, you know, they've come through the situation with wisdom. I'm seeing this person's done a lot of internal work. I don't see they're bringing any baggage into this relationship. Initially, when you meet this person, there's some hesitancy coming from you. And they're saying, if you listen to your saying if you, you know, quiet that mind and you listen to your heart, you'll know this person is the one for you from scratch, right? Getting back to the basics, learning a new skill. But once you are together, this person will be financially stable. I see that. Yeah, as I split the deck, Emperor Two of Cups. Very dependable, strong, sturdy energy. I'm trying to make these readings quicker now because I'm running out of time and I do want to release them all um, together. This person, another thing you'll really admire about them is how organized they are on a day-to-day -day basis. So you won't see this person creating a mess. They're very clean, tidy, and can be quite uh, particular about their things. Even at home, I'm getting a very tidy energy. This person also is very fair um, in their day-to-day -day interactions, so you won't see this person taking more than they're giving. So that will be very important. You'll really appreciate their integrity, their honesty, really. If they say they're going to do something, they will. You can depend on them. Actually, King of Swords and Knight of Pentacles are one of the most dependable. Um, court cards in the deck, right? But a strong communicator. You can rely on this person's advice, counsel. They have experience with the hermit. We have sexually hooked, addicted to sex, intense sexual chemistry, frequent sexual encounters. So yes, a strong, they'll be stimulating you mentally, but things will be very strive. I'll, I'll substitute that word for passion and yeah, a lot of time will be spent one-on-one, -on -one. Um, a lot of chemistry. I'm seeing this person is really fun and adventurous in that aspect of the relationship. So yeah, things won't be dull or boring. I'm seeing blindfold someone. They're into all that, if you get what I mean. We have children. We have children affecting love life, wants to build a family, possible pregnancy. Yeah, a chariot can also be um, building a family together. It does talk about pregnancy. So if you're of childbearing age, definitely. They will want to build a family. Families here. Let's look at this and how it came through. We have paralyzed. Paralyzed by love, holding back, fear of falling in love. This is this King of Swords energy. They're quite emotionally um, guarded when you first meet them, which is why things will progress very slowly from a friendship. But the beautiful thing is that you will build a solid foundation, right? And that foundation is friendship. Um, really getting to know each other, likes, dislikes, temperaments, how you deal with day-to-day -day issues, right? It's a very practical couple here is what I'm getting. We have phone call, expression of interest, wanting to talk, communication is key. Well, that strong mental bond and communication on a daily basis will be very important. And this person is quite mature. If there's any disagreements, let's talk it out, right? I don't see them throwing a temper tantrum or giving you um, silent treatment here. They're, they're not initially. They'll get there, but it will take some time here for them to really open up and show you in their heart. They do. They're not the most vulnerable initially. We have spotlight, high profile relationship, power couple, people envy the connection. I'm not getting strong indications of this, but it's coming through. I did have this for another sign where I'm saying you'll have a lot of jealous people. And yeah, people envy the connection. Um, you're both quite desirable and you're both aware that other people want you or what you have together. So. 
I don't think you have anything to worry about, but yeah, you will be in the spotlight as a couple, um, perhaps in your community, your family, friends, making you a center of attention, but can be at a larger scale as well, where people are talking, they're gossiping, right? They want to know what goes on behind the scenes or behind closed doors. We have forever changed. There's, there's some sort of intrigue um, around this connection for some reason. It can be that you be, both are, you know, quite up there or ambitious when it comes to your career and you've built a name for yourself so people just want to know um, a little bit more about who you are in your private life some prying eyes here we have forever changed a new self lasting changes a love that transforms and we have risk taking a risk laying cards on the table journey into the unknown a lot of you i am getting this as a new person and there is an element of risk here so you will have to take a chance be vulnerable right when we're vulnerable there's always a chance of getting hurt but it'll be worth it in this case listen to your intuition high priestess what will taurus find attractive about their person the one they end up with passionate we had that right sexually hooked and passionate some of you they're your ex i was getting reconciliation but that'll be for like five percent of you it wasn't the strongest message we have passionate there's never a dull moment with this type of person who enjoys life fully could be an exciting lover we have closed off wasn't i saying this I was mentioning this. This person has been deeply wounded and trust must be a physical, but no, there's more. But you will initially have a little bit of a difficult time um, reading them because of how closed off they are. We have Taurus. Stable, enjoys aesthetics and comforts as they're ruled by Venus. Low really flew out. Your person is without immediate family. This is a great opportunity for them to feel as though they belong to yours. And didn't we have that from the fact that the chemistry, they find you to be so desirable, they know other people want you as well. And they're very passionate. There's intense, this isn't a lighthearted um, connection. There, I see a lot of chemistry intensity here and they're very focused on you. So there is a little bit of a fear of losing you here life partner that's funny how that comes through jealous life partner we have a mutual love with a partner who shares your vision for the future this connection is meant to be long term yes knight of pentacles they're in it for the long haul taurus and they want you to themselves they don't want to share you with anyone very possessive energy whatever that they were backstabbed painful ending could be that they were cheated on as well look at that emotionally guarded and closed off overspends um and you'll marry this person we have married you know what i'm getting with this person there's times they go through their phases. Sometimes they can be really stingy and they hold on and other times they can be overtly generous, but I don't see that being a major issue here, uh, Taurus. But I feel like overspends what you'll like about them is they're very generous with you. They'll want to spend money on you. What will Taurus find attractive about their person? Okay, I'm not taking. What will Taurus find attractive about their person? Wow, okay, closed off. I think that came through. Look at that, <laughs> closed off twice, two different decks. You like that this person doesn't open up easily. Um, they're choosy, picky, whatever the word is when it comes to who they let in. You like that. What will Taurus find attractive about the person they end up with? Um, physical features now. 
so that is why they're financially well off they overspend they have the means the resources not the most emotional but they'll definitely be giving you gifts we have busty chest taurus something about their chest area you'll really like what will taurus find attractive about their person quite artistic i'm getting but something about their hair i'm not taking that i only want one i don't want multiple makeup yeah i just said that makeup braids you really like that they express the how they express what will Taurus find attractive? Medium hair. Red attire. Signifying passion here is what I'm getting. Exaggerated features. Really something about their makeup is coming through. And if you're up and beard comes through again. What will Taurus find attractive? You have for Taurus in regards to this person, the one they end up with. Love stuck relationship is this something that you're coming out of that you're leaving behind it's a tower moment right that you're leaving behind if it's not literal you know a love th third party in regards to your love life it can be some conflict drama within the family or some work situation here um, jealous people around you at work really is what is coming through but we have love stuck. Just because you hit a dead end, it doesn't mean you took a wrong turn. This stagnation is meant to. Don't feel like the clock is ticking. There's no deadline here. You'll meet this person. Oh, don't you love that? We have play the field and happy times. <laughs> yeah, friendship. Strong friendship here. That is how this will start off. Don't get so hung up on them. Go play the field. Flirt, flirt, and flirt some more. Don't wait for things to happen. Make it happen. Yeah, keep your options open. Keep exploring. That is how you'll run into this person. And some of you, this is online or while traveling is what was coming through. But keep in mind general reading. So there's a variety of ways we can actually meet someone. But let me clarify shaky ground. Why shaky ground here? here and there's some deception or you're not happy there's a lot of stress here within a commitment a home situation and others of you there's a fear fear of what four of wands that you won't find the one that you'll be single forever but that's not true yeah you will have your happily ever after keep exploring keep your options open see if we look at the figure on the two of wands, he's picked a direction. He's looking forward, waiting for his ships to come in, right? And behind him, he's leaving behind the three three swords. Third party, separation, heartbreak. So yeah, you will have to venture out and leave what's familiar behind. This is a, yeah, some of you, a divorce or just breaking free from family, tradition, some sort of routine here. But you're... <laughs> I clarified the sun and we have Hierophant. This is what lies ahead. This is your future. You won't miss it. You're meant to be in a long-term commitment. Some of you are happy. Home, family with children, sun. Yeah, keep playing the field. There's someone amazing here manifesting. You have nothing to worry about. If you're, you know, feel like you're running out of time, you're not. You're exactly where you need to be, but be open. Keep exploring, okay? That is what I have for you, Taurus. Take care of yourself and I will see you hopefully next week. Bye.